Hey guys, this is Just a Guy here, and I thought I'd do a little help for an install for um, Elder Scrolls Arena. It's uh, I got a part of the anthology collection or whatever, but you can also I think download it just from the Bethesda website. But if you install it and you do the auto run thing, either by putting the disc in or clicking on it, um, it'll install the game. Uh, there's some things you might want to take off the disc though. Uh, this Arena manual is not copied automatically, and it's where all the instructions are. It's a PDF of the instruction manual. Uh, wants to load up here real quick. It's kind of slow for some reason. Um, but yeah, it has a lot of the story and the classes and all the descriptions. The main part is way towards the bottom is the controls, which they're not very intuitive. Uh, here we go. The shortcuts somewhere down here. But anyways, it tells you what the spells do too. Um. But yeah, if you install it, you'll get something like this. Uh, let me get out of this menu. There we go. Um, you'll pick a file. I just put mine in the Bethesda folder. And um, it'll do this. It'll put everything you see here. The README is important because it has the cost of the spells, which is a built-in copy protection. So I always just put that on your desktop somewhere if you're going to play. And then does DOSBox and then the game. Now, there is no run in the game, obviously, because it's an old DOS game. So you have to go through DOSBox. But if you click it just automatically, you won't get anywhere. What you want to do is come to the options here. DOSBox options. You should open in a notepad. And it has a little bit of a description here of what you can do and change things. Uh, it tells you what's up here, and this is what you alter to make it different. So if you always want it to be in full screen, you hit true and all that stuff like that. But towards the bottom here, you want to do two things at least. Um, where is the CPU? Okay, so right here, CPU cycles. It's by default set to auto, but it cycles. It only goes to uh, 3000 or so on auto for some reason, and the game chugs along super slow. I found about 13,000 to 15,000 works fine, and it's only like... 0.2% of my CPU, so I don't know. I mean, whatever you want to do, but you just want to change this to fixed C uh, 15,000. And then at the very, very bottom is where you can put in commands. Anything you put here will do as soon as you start up. Um, so you want to do mount C space and then wherever you put the, th the game. Um, so this is where I put my game, right? But if you just had it in just games, you could do it there too. But you have to put where you put the game all the way down to the arena thing. You want to type in C with the backslash. Uh, it'll change it to the C drive, and then you just have to type in the command arena to start up the game. If you do all this, the game will start up automatically. Otherwise, you'd have to type this every time you play. And that is pretty much it. Um, you just basically have to change those two little things, and this should run fine. And if you have a shortcut like this to the folder, um, it will run automatically every time. Uh, if we go to this little thing, oh, the commands are already all gone. But it just started up automatically. And you can have one of these DOSBox programs, so to speak, in every different game. But it'll just load a little test save I had. I'm about to play this. And I had a lot of trouble, so that I would show you guys. But as you can see, I can turn pretty much freely, as freely as this game is anyway. And if you do, if you're in game and it seems slow, try pushing Control F12, and you'll see um, the cycles will go up by a fraction. Um, if you do Control F11. Uh, you can't do it while you're on that screen. It'll go down. Uh, by like, I think it's like 10% or something. But I had it set to 15,000 because it seemed to work fine. But if you go to control, like I'll go F11 a couple times. I don't know how to actually set it. Alright, so let's go up one. There we go, it's about 3,000. This is what it starts at. Oops. Yeah, come on. Sorry, guys. 
Can't alt tab today. There we go. And alt enter, by the way, to. So this is me trying to move. This is the default. For whatever reason, the auto run does 3000. And as you can see, I can barely move. It's fine in the menus and the loading screen and all that, but in the game itself there it's... I mean you could turn the detail down, but I don't know if it'd help. It's a little less laggy, but I mean... I have, you know, a modern day PC, <laughs> why would I turn down the details? But I can just... Click that a couple times. Now if you don't want to change it every single time, that's why I said change that thing to cycles to 15,000. I don't know how high you want to go or how high you can go. I think there's a limit. Otherwise, the game starts messing up. And then, of course, uh, you can just close this out. Now, I have another DOS box for another game I was playing. This one doesn't work anymore because I moved the game. But as you can see, if I can make this bigger, uh, kind of cut some of it off. But it mounts it to C and then dot games for Crin and then changes the C. And then it starts up Dark uh, Knights of Kryn. So this would work for that game. That one would work for that game. So you wouldn't have to change the commands every single time because there's two separate DOS box folders or whatever with different uh, option files. Okay, Avast, you can leave me alone. But yeah, guys, I hope that helps you because uh, the two things I had trouble with was the cycles being so low, my game being super slow. And then for whatever reason, uh, nowhere in the instruction manuals of the anthology thing, or the readmes that I could find told you to type the word arena to start the game. Like I, I tried start, I tried run, I tried, you know, looking through the directories, I couldn't find anything. It's always the problem with DOS's games, back when they were all things, there's only one word that starts the thing, it's always kinda of hard to find what it is. But yeah guys, this is uh just a guy signing off. Catch you guys later. Bye.